Hey there, how's going? Welcome to Loop Learning. This is video number 30 and we will continue making reports in Microsoft Access. If you are interested in uh, reports, then uh, keep watching. If you're new, new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. Okay, so yesterday what we did well yesterday i recorded the video uploaded and that's why i'm saying yesterday which means in the last video what we did uh, we created this report right and uh, in this report uh, we we can see that uh, for one particular month uh, which employee have got what salary and what we have paid to the employee so it, th this report is useful as well now i'm thinking to make a report uh f for the employee so what do i mean by that i mean that i instead of month here or year or month here on the top i want employees information on the top which could be employee id and employee name and in here i want january till december and for each month what have we paid to that particular employee so if you know i'm just thinking about the business logic so you could have a situation a logic where you will be asked about uh, you know creating this kind of report as well so uh, let's let's go ahead and do that so i'll close it and i'll uh, yeah and you know the good thing about good thing about this particular video is it's go not going to be long video <laughs> because the reason is uh, we have already created the query so the query that we have created in previous video we are going to use the same query because the data that we require to display on the report is similar and query is already created so therefore we don't actually need to create a additional uh, query for that so what we can do is we can just copy this and we can paste in here and we can call it payroll and because this is for the employees so we'll say payroll amp cube okay simple as that now one change that we need to do so if i right click and go to this query design and in the designer we will see that this question mark if you must if you would have seen the previous video i have explained it uh, very uh, in very detail that what do we mean by question mark under this particular column as a criteria but if we remove question mark from from the fiscal month what we are looking at here we are looking at the employee right so we can have question mark here under the as a criteria under the employee id column so in that accordingly we can you know filter the information i did inform in the previous video that this is actually not the a permanent or right way of uh, having the criteria you always give a reference of some text box or a combo box which i will definitely explain in uh, coming videos but for now for testing purpose we'll just have the question mark. So, so we have query already available what we need to do is we need to go ahead and create a report so i'll go to create tab and i'll choose the report design from the report section and so we get the blank report now the next thing i'm i'm going to do is uh, assign that query whatever we have just uh, copy and pasted uh, to this particular report so we'll go to the property sheet we'll go to the data tab we'll go to the record source and we look for the query that we have just created payroll employee queue and then we go to report design add existing fields and then we copy the fields that we want and we just drag and drop them here we select all of them so let's do a little um, formatting and we uh, make them full black as <clears throat> the color we make the labels bold so you know we can use them okay so uh, for the page header what do we need we need employee information because uh, as i explained at the start of this video that uh, you know we are we are going to filter this report um, with the employee information in previous video we did for with the uh, year and month okay 
so I'll uh, change that okay let's do a little I'm just doing little formatting nothing nothing too crazy uh, uh, over here and so so don't worry okay all right so here we go employee name and employee here employee will drag it just here employee name okay all right and there we go and maybe perhaps we can drag it a little bit and make it bit a uh, bit bigger as you know that the employee names are sometimes bigger so we select all of that and we right click we go to layout tabular and uh, we do a little bit of uh, adjustment here we bring these down here and we select all of these we bring up here and we bring higher okay now the next thing uh, we don't need uh, payroll id i mean if you want you can keep it but i don't need payroll id so i'll go to the property sheet and actually go to the format and it says visible i'll say no and the width i'll make it as uh, zero so it's not occupying the space as well uh here i think it's a lot of it so we can we can reduce that and um, month is okay i guess okay yeah month is fine all right next thing what we need to do is we need to um, select all of this and home tab and make it uh, in the center we okay that also we need to do okay now let's fix this uh, and you know and okay net payable there should be a space so we select all of this we go to report design property sheet and at the moment uh, because the width for every text box is different so let's try it out maybe one okay one is too much uh, 0 0.7 now that's too less 0 0.8 that is perfect okay now next thing we need to do is uh, perhaps yeah just do that and decrease the width of the report also now let's go ahead and uh, see how the report looks like so we'll go to report view and let's say we provide this information and we get some sort of uh, em employees information so employee id is for this is the name of the employee and for which year for which month uh, what salary is paid and what is the status all of that if i go to the uh, print preview and uh, the print preview this is how it looks like it's very basic not yet uh, uh, formatted properly so the next step what we'll do we select all we go to the format and shape outline transparent okay we make a employee name as a bold and uh, we select this employee id we make it on the left and um, the next thing next what we need to do is select these because these text boxes will have or will contain the information about money right so the format i'll keep it as standard the decimal points i'll keep two and yes i want them to be as visible let's uh, save this report and the moment i press ctrl s it is asking me the report name so we can say payroll m r okay something like that okay now if i go to the report view and let's provide this information and boom so we have a little bit more organized so let's do uh, a little bit more work here we'll go here first of all uh, let's get the uh, sum so we want sum right so report design sum earning report design sum gross salary report design sum deduction report design sum net payable report design sum we increase we select all of this increase the height height of these text boxes we make them bold so you know they are a bit more differentiated okay 
then uh, what uh, we should do is bring a line here so we'll go to report design controls and we take the line object and we draw a line here okay that's cool all right uh, next let's have something in the report header some sort of you know this uh, like for example this one okay so you copy that and we paste in here oops okay we paste in here now that is fine let's uh, decrease the width okay cool so we do that and this we change this uh, from payroll detailed report month wise to employee wise okay now let's run the report so we'll go to report view we'll provide the employee id and boom you see here now we have nice header uh, what this report about this is the employee information and uh, this is year month fixed salary earning gross and net and what is the status this is the total of whatever we have paid in that year to that employee now here's one thing that we need to still fix and that is the sequence right so we need to fix that at the moment the first one is june and then july august where is january by the way january january oh okay so might we might not have paid uh, to this employee in january so there might be uh, that's that that might be the reason so let's go to design view let's go to the uh, re, uh, sorry report design group and sort add a sort and we choose um, employee it so no not we are fiscal month okay and from smallest to largest okay now let's go to report design let's keep this information and uh, it is starting with from feb march april may june july august september october november december okay so january we haven't paid to this uh, particular employee so therefore uh, this employee did not get the salary and therefore this it's not in the report let's uh, let's run for some other employee maybe they have they have gotten the salary so let's say employee number five yeah so this employee have got the salary so yeah so this is working pretty much fine there is no problem with this okay so the sequence is correct we got the information what whatever we we, we want it and this is how you create reports it's very easy it's a matter of having a accurate database and then you just uh, filter the information that we want and then you link that to a report and a report is generated okay so this is just the beginning for the reporting section because reporting huge itself is a huge uh, area of uh, learning I hope that you have liked whatever you have seen. If you have liked whatever you have seen, please do subscribe uh, to the channel, hit the bell icon and smash the like button. Also, you know, YouTube will uh, recognize that people are liking this video. Appreciated your support and um, do let me know in the comments below whether this was useful or not. That's it. Until the next one. Take care. Bye bye.